Figure 3 shows a sketch of pi region y equals x to the half log 2x. The finite region r, shown in shaded in figure 3, is bounded by the curve. The x-axis and the lines x equals 1 and x equals 4. Use the trapezium rule with three strips of equal width to find an estimate for the area of R, giving your answer to two decimal places. Find the integral of x to the half log of 2x dx. Hence, find the exact area of R, giving your answer in the form a log 2 plus b, where a and b are exact constants. So let's have a look at this then. Here's the question here in summary form. So let's do part A then. Let's paste in our trapezium rule and then we should be able to overlay the values. So I'm going to label this i x to the half log 2x is what we're working out here between 1 and 4. So we've got 4 minus 1 here and the number of strips is 3. So 4 minus 1 is 3 and the number of strips is 3. So h is 3 over 3 which is 1. So I'm going to put that in here. Now we've got number of strips is 3 so let's put 3 in here and 3 minus 1 is 2 and there's 2 already listed so that's good. So let's just put that there, there's 3 and drag this up just a bit and there's our formula then for this particular case. So we need these values then, let's work them out. So we've got x0 x1, x2 and x3. There's our x-ordinates. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we need our y-ordinates. So y0, y1, y2 and y3. y0, put 1 in into the integrand x to the half ln of 2x, isn't it? So, 1 in here. 1 to the half is 1, log of 2 times 1 is log 2. Put 2 in, root 2, log 4. Put 3 in, root 3, log 6, isn't it? And put 4 in, root 4, log 8, which is 2 log 8. So there's our y values, so i equals then a half. The first and the last, log 2 plus 2 log 8, plus 2 times these two in the middle, root 2 log 4, plus root 3 ln 6, close bracket, close uh, brace, and we need to tap that in the calculator, don't we? So let's do that then, 0 0.5 times bracket, ln2, plus 2 log, natural log of 8, plus 2 times bracket, root 2, uh, ln4, plus root 3, ln of 6, close bracket for the log, close bracket for the two times, and close bracket for the half of, equals 7.4899, which to 2dp is equal to 7.49, isn't it? That's the two decimal places. Part B then. We need to work out the integral of x to the half, ln 2x. It's an integration by parts. We have no choice. That has to be the v, doesn't it? So we've got u, v, so raise the power. There's u times v minus the integral of u times the v. Log of something goes to 1 over something multiplied by the something differentiated, which is 2 dx. There's our integral then. So the 2 comes up, 2x to the 3 over 2 over 3 ln 2x minus 
Now the two, this two will cancel with this two, but there's still a two here. So we've got two over three, which we can bring through the integral. Integral of, and we've got one here, have power one, three over two, take one is half. So that looks like what we've got then. We would uh, probably double check that. The twos cancel, the three comes through, the two comes through, two thirds with the minus. And then we've got three over two, take one is a half, so that's fine. So we've got 2x to the 3 over 2 over 3 minus. Now here we've got x to the 3 over 2 when we integrate over 3 over 2. We've got a 2 thirds lots of plus k. Now I'm going to just adjust this in one fell swoop rather than write a fresh line. So the 2 can swing up to be with that 2 to make 4. And the 3 times 3 is 9. So it's 4 ninths I'm going to write now. Here and here. 4 over 9. There we go. So that's what we've got then for our integral. So now part C, we need to find the uh, R exactly a log, in the form A log 2 plus B. So R is equal to, well is this just this integral here which is this value. So I'm just going to write the value. Uh, oh, that was a log 2x, wasn't it, here? Which I need to write. That does make a difference, of course. And then 2x minus, and the same goes for here. Let me just put it in properly. ln 2x minus 4 9 x to the 3 over 2. And that's between 1 and 4. So we need to work that out. Put 4 in here. 4 to the 3 over 2 is 4 to the half is 2. And 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So that's 16 over 3. Ln 2x is ln 8. Okay. Minus. So that's a, that value. Let me just check that again. 4 goes in here. 4 um, to the half is 2. 2 cubed is 8. 8 twos is 16. 16 over 3 log 8. Minus 4 ninths. 4 to the 3 over 2 is 8. So this is 4 eighths of 32 here. So I'll put it down as 32 ninths. That's the top value. Take away the bottom value. Put 1 in. 2 thirds. And then 2 minus, and this is a 1 in here, 1 to the power is still 1, so that's minus 4 ninths. So what have we got then? It looks to me like we've got 32 ninths plus 4 ninths is 36 ninths. And numbers wise, this is 2 cubed, so bring the 3 out from 2 cubed to here, 48 over 3, and then 2 minus 32 ninths plus 4 ninths. Oh, minus 32 ninths plus 4 ninths is minus 28 over 9. And this one is minus 2 thirds ln 2. Okay, so we end up with 46 over 3 ln 2 minus 28 over 9. Units squared, because it's a measure of area. Um, the only tricky thing was here, which was 2 cubed in our mind's eye, and the power rule comes down to make 48 over 3 there, so that's fine.